Oh my god. They're so tiny. Little kitties. Oh, it's okay. I was just getting a little video. Your babies are really cute. <laughs> You're cute. Thank you. Well, hello. You are hiking with Jenny on the Appalachian Trail. This is day 36. And I just left 19E. Stayed at the station at 19E last night. And I got dropped off by Bruce, aka Burning Man. Today I have a possibly 16 mile day to get to a tent site. We'll see how it goes. The elevation doesn't look too terrible today, so it should be doable. Enjoyed my stay at the station at 19E. It's a very basic uh, hostel in terms of like you know beds and whatever but the bar area is where it's really at they really take care of you and everyone's very friendly and it was a good time I ended up buying resupplying there I got dinner there I got dessert got a few drinks so up breakfast so it ended up being kind of a lot of money but but it's good to support these people that are you know offering a really great service for hikers I will say though I did not sleep well last night I just had I had trouble getting to sleep I think I'm just not used to sleeping in a bed so this is probably my worst night's sleep so far on trail. Hoping that doesn't affect my hike too much today. I'm probably running on three hours of sleep. And I took melatonin too and it didn't really help. So one exciting thing that's happening today is I'll be crossing the 400 mile mark and also should be seeing some waterfalls. The good part about having insomnia last night is I was able to get an extra video uploaded. So now I do actually do have a buffer. So I was hiking along and a couple girls passed me, um, Mountain Goat and GPS, and they had watched my channel. And that was probably the first time that I've, well, no, I mean, it's not the first time I've ever been recognized for my channel. It was the first time I've been recognized by someone I didn't recognize who'd watched my channel. <laughs> um, but I was just thinking, because like Mountain Goat was saying she has a channel. I was talking before about how it seems like everyone has a YouTube channel now. And we were talking last night at the bar. I don't remember who said it, but they were like, well, you know, before YouTube, it was everyone was blogging, so it's kind of like that. So it's just sort of that new reiteration of the blog. So maybe it's not that weird that everyone does that because everyone wants to, you know, save the memories and whatever. And with how available like phones are and Wi Fi and everything it's easier to 
create a video now than it was before. So I just rounded a corner and trail goes along the cemetery and then I see this and I thought that was a person like kneeling down on the ground and it like startled me. Oh no, some of the flowers fell down. I couldn't fix them wherever they were, but at least I got them over to the other side of the fence. Four hundred miles of the AT completed, and about eighteen hundred left to go. I am gonna go check out this waterfall. Look who I found! Hey! hey. Yeah, you. Hello! Hello! Look at this waterfall! Oh How my is god! It's amazing. Waterfalls are dangerous. Several injuries have occurred here. Today's a really good day. And you know, tomorrow's gonna rain. The next couple days probably gonna be kind of crappy weather. But uh, today's good. And so you gotta really just appreciate the nice days while they're here. And uh, I feel like I'm doing that right now. I'm really just drinking it in. It's beautiful and I just, just really enjoying walking right now through all of this trail has been pretty gentle today. Started out like walking through some meadows and now there's waterfalls and yeah, it's just a really, really pleasant section of trail. I'm almost finished with the book AWOL on the Appalachian Trail. And uh, something he says in the book reminds me of something I said not that long ago, where it was sort of like how you perceive others to be faster than you or like other people have it easier. Basically, you, you assume that other people know your doubts about yourself but they have the same doubts about themselves and they think that you are doing better than they are. He puts it so much more eloquently, but that's basically like what, in my words, I'm summing it up. And yeah, that's like basically sort of the conclusion I came up with too on my own. I think I'm slow, but then like, other people tell me that I'm fast and that is confusing to me because when I look at them I think they are fast. He kind of made the same conclusions that I did in his book. So I just thought that was really cool. two o'clock. I've got another seven miles to go to get to where I intend to camp. Well, there's been more climbing uh, toward the middle part of the day today, so it slowed me down a little bit, but it's not supposed to be anything terribly long or steep. I just gathered water at the aptly named Hardcore Cascades. Aptly named because that's how I feel right now. I am about to do a 16 mile day. And uh, 
And today was surprisingly tough. I wasn't expecting that. I have a half mile to get to where I'm hoping will be a place I can camp. But I needed to get water at that water source so that I'd have water for camp because I don't think there will be any water at the campsite. So my pack just got four pounds heavier. But that's okay because there's not much left to go. While I'm trudging this last half mile up to camp, I want to thank Rabbit Turtles for your recent super thanks. Also want to thank my channel members once again, Rabbit Turtles, Jim B, and Thomas Adams. Thank you for your ongoing support. And if I've missed everyone, it's because the videos are delayed. So that was all that I saw right now. And it is currently April 1st. I made it to where I intended to camp and there's basically just enough space here for one person. Um, but I can make this work with my hammock. Tonight's a mountain house lasagna night because that's what they had at the hostel. And uh, I used up the rest of my fuel. So I guess I'm gonna be cold soaking my oatmeal tomorrow. <laughs> so there's the trail. And uh, here's my setup tonight. I'm not gonna put the tarp up tonight because it is not supposed to rain tonight. I'm gonna climb in there now. I think it's like 7.30, almost 7.30. Temperature is really nice right now. I think it's like upper 60s right now. I hung my food bag and uh, I'm just gonna crawl in my hammock for the night. Hoping to get to sleep earlier tonight, um, catch up on sleep that I missed last night. I'm hoping that if I fall asleep early tonight, I can get an early start tomorrow because I have another big day tomorrow, but I'm going to the Boots Off Hostel, so that'll be extra motivation. So thank you for watching and happy trails. It's supposed to be in the 50s tonight and that's pretty warm. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna leave this open, just the bug net, cause there are bugs out there. Um, but that way I can look up and see the stars at night. So I think that'll be really nice. And uh, I've got my 10 degree quilt, so I'm not gonna be cold. And 50s so yeah it's a beautiful night it's so quiet